Brisbane Sextet, among other things. Tell me about where the book is at. Uh, inter your revisions on it. Almost, it's almost done, but I, I really do do need to make sure that those people who read it fully understand what I'm talking about. And uh, the, the principle is that you need to know what's going on when you go from one limb to the other when you're playing drums. You, know, you, you have four limbs. If you go from your right foot to your left hand, you want to feel inside your body what that's like. And so the actual feeling of this inside your body that comes out, say your left hand, and then creates a sound, all of it, and then sound itself, all of that is the sound. It's not like a computer just makes a sound. That's not right. It. Focusing on the energy moving, releasing it, and hearing it. That's all the sound, all of that. And that's the important thing. So how to, how to practice that is what the book is about. And there's these simple diagrams that show you how to work from one limb to the other, very slowly. And then work around and you do that as an exercise. But the difference is you don't just play it. You, you have to, if you're going to do what the concept is, you feel inside your body. You play with your bass drum. What's it feel like? Move through your whole body. What's that feel like? What's that sound like? Snare drum. What's it feel like going over to your right hand? What's it feel like? All of it. Feel, feel, feel inside. I have. What's it feel like? That's the exercise. And then there's many like that. You think of four points, there's a lot of ways you can go around and lots of ways of doing it. So that is the concept, what's going on inside your body in between sounds and also when two are coming out. That is that gets you in touch with your feelings, all kinds of feelings, physical feelings, emotional feelings, ecstat ecstasy, whatever. It gets you in, literally in touch with, with viscerally with your sure. body. And then whatever emotions would happen, happen. to younger cats who are growing up with um, more digital music the music listen is to jazz listen listen to um, specifically a lot what of jazz. i mean yeah well, which which specifically because that's a very that term is very uh, yeah, kind of misused these days go back listen to Count Basie and Duke Ellington Louis Armstrong get into Louis Armstrong he's one of the most sophisticated as i've, I've told you rhythmists rhythmists whatever you want to call it there ever was, I think. I mean, you listen to it, and then, but there's many others. And then listen to uh, Charlie Parker and Errol Garner and Oscar Peterson, all these great, Ella Fitzgerald. Go into that era of, let's say, from 30s, 40s through 50s, and, and then listen to that. Find something you like. You have to like it. Right. If this is not, you know, like going to school and having to learn. Right, right, right. Like Art Blakey, you know these guys. And YouTube is good, and then you get to see what they, they look like, and then get the CDs, because it, it sounds, if you have a decent player, it sounds way better than anything on YouTube. And so, that's just the facts. And so tune into what things really sound like. And then also, if you like that music, find some live music you can go hear somewhere, if you can.
Thank you.